guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing this video outdoors like fam the cold is getting real <laughs> all the while i was preparing for canada i was not preparing for this cold welcome back to my channel my name is princess phillips i'm a nigerian that lived in bahamas but now currently an international student in canada toronto canada anyway this so video is about how i got my g1 driving license ontario driving license in one hour you know usually when you hear people doing their license they're like oh they went um they went in the morning and the queue was so long and they spent all day blah 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 so anyway i had a test this morning so it's not like i planned it but i was like okay let me just go in the afternoon so i arrived here by 1 30 and i came with my passport with my bahamas driver's license it needs to be valid um, those were the only two things they asked and then when you come in you feel a form there was no queue outside i was expecting to queue at least two hours there was no queue outside by that time that was just after lunch break i came here around i think i got here around 1 30 p.m and today is a monday 1 30 p.m on a monday and there was no queue outside i walked right in the lady processed me gave me my a document to fill gave me my sleep number and i was waiting for my number to be called um and within like 15 minutes they called my number and i just walked up with my supporting documents they asked me for my license asked me for my passport and yes please bring your international your original international passport they won't accept a copy because someone in front of me had a copy and they sent him back so i went with my i gave them that they imputed it in the system and then i had to do an eye test so if you wear glasses remember to bring your glasses but well, i don't wear glasses so the first the first um eye test i did fam like everything was blurry <laughs> everything was blurry i wasn't even seen so the lady was like oh call the number you're seeing the and fam i really wasn't seen i thought i was blind i was caught i caught like four numbers and they were obviously wrong and she was like okay um are you sure you don't wear glasses you don't have glasses for long sightedness i'm like no like fam i i i see i see like <laughs> i don't wear glasses and she was like okay let's go use another um let's go use another i don't know what it's called the thing you look inside let's go use another one because if i don't pass it then she can't register me fam i was like ah my village people want to find me like wait i don't even understand like i've always had perfect eyesight so anyway went to the next one and she checked it um someone was there after a lady left i did it and all of a sudden i could see i could see <laughs> so um there were a series of numbers you they asked you what are you seeing you just be calling out the numbers and then they'll do like a flash test just by the side not in front by the side so they'll be like where are you seeing it left right left right and all and then she was like okay good you passed and i was like ah that was good so we went back she did registration i confirmed my name and everything gave me my sleep and told me to go inside like inside the written center like fam i didn't even read so much like okay i didn't even read so much i'm gonna let you know what i um used and i'll tag it in the comment section so um i just walked in my name was already there she'll tell you you are allocated computer you go there you put your date to bed and you just start just like that start writing the exam Ah, and that was that is the g1 exam the g1 written exam that was what i wrote and there are 20 questions in each part there are two parts 20 questions each you can only fail maximum of four questions <laughs> so my first one pack, 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 i failed for her <laughs> i was like blood i beg i hope i really didn't fail more than four but luckily i failed only four in the first one then the second one which had to do more of like the signs and all that that one i even read well and that one i failed only one as a as a driver concerned so um i passed i went and asked them say okay you passed they processed me again inside there and like okay you'll get your license in six weeks so yeah so let me tell you how um okay they said i will get my license in six weeks and then i can book my g2 test but that will advise me not to book it instead i should get my proof of record so let me not confuse you let me go back 
so the first license you get is your g1 license so usually after your g1 license you need to wait like 12 months till you do your g2 um drive test which i was supposed to do normally if i was a new driver but i'm not a new driver and i have a valid license so my three years valid license gave me one year um driving experience in ontario so they said i should contact my um the road traffic in bahamas and if i can get a proof of record that i've been driving in bahamas for the past two years that is going to give me an additional one year so that way instead of me writing a g2 um driving test instead of me doing a g2 driving test i will just do a g driving test so the g is the full license not like the g1 and g2 so i would advise you if you're coming to canada please bring your valid driver's license it makes life easier so you're not doing this and it's taking you like two years plus to finally get your full license you can get your full license immediately like if i had this proof of record already i would have just given them and booked my g license my g test maybe next week or something so please bring your um bring your valid license and also bring your proof of record before you leave your country just get a proof of record go to your road traffic and ask them it has to be on their letter headed paper um saying how long you've been driving and all that simple and you just get your license immediately your full license immediately so um this process didn't take long because of i think the time i went because as i was leaving now around two ish the queue is building up like i'm seeing little line outside so go around like after lunch anyway it worked for me i don't know it's not like i planned it but i went after lunch and there was no queue in one hour i was done because the writing test i was done with it in less than one hour and then the whole process of waiting and checking me in and all also happened in less than 30 minutes so total i spent there was one hour and i'm on my way back home now and the license should come in your mail in six weeks so yes what do you take from this one have a valid like I bought this glow from Dollarama and it's crazy. I'm going to the mall now to go get um, better gloves. So, number one, move to Canada with a valid driver's license. Number two, get your proof of record from your road traffic before you leave your home country. If not, it may be hard for you to get it here. And number three, try and not go that early morning and go and be forming queue try in the afternoon try in the evening it may work for you because most people by then they've gone and the queue may be less but yes and then number four the app i use to prepare is called the g1 app i found my friend referred me to it and i found it on um the app store apple i app store i'm gonna try and leave a link in the description box so you can check it out but yes i use the um g1 app to prepare and everything i read there came out like all the things i was going through so it's an obj test you're not like writing anything you're just touching the screen and going so everything i read and i didn't even read so much to be honest i just like glanced through but i paid attention to the road signs because i knew okay that's something i didn't know well and then the most ones i also failed had to do with like okay as a g1 driver how much will you be fined how long will, it, will your license be um suspended for so things like that pay attention to those things but the rest of the questions is just common sense like if you've been driving if you've been really truthfully driving like driving well you would know those answers so yes um i now have my g1 license and i'm gonna go call my friend now to get me that proof of record from the bahamas and hopefully i should just get my g like very soon like i just want to get this license thing out of the way and another thing another thing when you come to canada you have the fact the first 60 days first 60 days to do this if you're um, trying to switch your license and you have a valid one and you want it to count you have the first 60 days to do it after the first 60 days you have to start from scratch and go up once again disclaimer this isn't legal advice or immigration advice or road traffic advice this is just my experience and the little research i did so yeah 
Alrighty, see you in my next vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little clip and yeah, it was nice recording outside. Let me show you. So I came to the one at Downs View. I came to the Downs View Road Test Center. It's just an empty field, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And we shall mew from there, bringing you Canadian tips and tricks and content. See you in my next vlog. Bye.